Hello boys and girls, we start our lesson. The theme of the lesson is visiting a home in Kazakhstan. Lesson 11, page 97. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to improve your reading skills. You'll read about visiting a home in Kazakhstan. Visiting a home in Kazakhstan. Jenny Watson from London, living in Kazakhstan. Jenny's blog. Yesterday, I was invited with my parents to the home of their Kazakhstani friends. We haven't lived in Kazakhstan for very long. So, this was my first visit to a family home here. A lot of things are the same as in England, but some things are different. The first thing is that you should to take off your shoes when you go in or offer to take them off. Most people in England don't do that, but here people usually do. People shake hands like in England, but here they often use both hands, not just one hand. After we arrived, we were given tea and bread. The tea cups were only half filled. That surprised me at first, but now I understand it. People like to refill your cup, so they don't give you too much the first time. There is another reason too. If they fill cup to the top, it means you are only welcome for a short visit. Later, we had a meal with the whole family. The food was delicious, but there was too much food. I felt completely full. But they kept giving me more food. In England, it's polite to finish everything on your plate. But here the custom is different. Here if you finish everything on your plate, it means you haven't had enough food and you want more. I didn't know that. I think meals here are bigger and longer than in England. Kazakhstanis really enjoy them. And they go on a for a long time. Tomorrow, my new friend Dania is going to show me around the city. She wants to show me a traditional market called the Zilone Bazaar and then the Megalmati shopping center which apparently has a skating rink and a climbing center. I'll write about it in my next blog. Exercise 2. Read Jenny's blog and answer the questions. Where is Jenny from? What happened yesterday? Do people in England usually take off their shoes when they arrive? What surprised Jenny about the tea? Why was Jenny given too much food? How many differences does she describe in this blog? Is her information correct? Give your opinion. Exercise 3. Imagine you are Jenny and it's the next evening. Write the next blog entry. Now, watch the short video about Kazakhstan. The lesson is over. Goodbye.